Hey, how's it going? We are continuing the series where we're taking a look at uh, different economists within the world. If anything, I personally believe there should be more economists investing, not necessary. Uh, so there's a hundred percent of uh, percent of how country is gonna use its uh, gross domestic product or GDP. Uh, some of those countries most likely gonna be looking to invest a lot in military or defense, right? And it's pending. It, uh, those countries gonna look to improve by new equipment, the hardware, and or trained staff, or whatever case might be. So two percent most likely those gov uh, governments gonna be looking to improve that, as well as perhaps more governments should take a look at notice of investment about two percent into research and development. I'm looking to make a case for that, and I'm looking at uh, some of those uh, governments are there right now, and uh, what they are doing right now, right, when it comes to GDP and allocation of capital, right. Uh, I have covered a number of those uh, within this video, we're going to be looking at top 5, right, we covered a number of those. Within top 5, there's a Belgium, which is uh, investing currently, as uh, I know, 3.6% of its GDP to research and development. There's a recent report, right, when it comes to allocation and capital and how well Belgium is performing, right? There's a lot of figures and numbers. I'm not entirely sure if many people are interested in those other than... Uh, <laughs> I'll, let's, uh, let me share a quick example, right? Belgium is an innovation leader within performance of 128.8%. So we, uh, so it's overall output and uh, the way how, how and how well they're performing and how much value they are they're able to generate. It. EU average performance is below the average of the innovative leaders of 134.4%. Performance is increasing by 16.8. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure that I'm interested in carrying on with these reports, right? So since of what, what and what, there's so much information is missing, right? <laughs> Uh, th because there's a point. Who who, who cares about those points? <laughs> so we we have invented their own scale, right? And they're comparing some of those uh, uh, countries up there according to what scale. If anything, some of those scales that myself I'm looking at at uh, uh, dr drug trafficking within Europe and what countries are trafficking the most. Uh, uh, so that's uh, that's some of those scales and numbers that I'm interested in. And perhaps some of those sports need to step up. That's the scale so that I'm interested in taking a look at some of those governments, if anything. When it comes to output of the government and performance, when it comes to legal structure, let's take, uh, take a look at some of those performance, right? Uh, <laughs> so that's the scale. And 134.4%, uh, that's what the scale that I'm interested in. <laughs> I hope some of those countries are really well performing when it comes to business activities, right? So it would be output of chocolate. There, uh, cheese, great. Let, let's focus on some of those statistics, right? And output and uh, how much value some of those businesses are able to generate, right? <laughs> so that, that's the statistics that I'm interested in. <laughs> uh, let's uh, touch on some of those articles and uh, highlights uh, from those articles that was published at uh, OR scoreboard uh, that was published 2022. So it's not Perhaps it's uh, it's almost 2024, right? So perhaps uh, some of those areas have been addressed already, but either way. Relative strength, public, private, core, uh, publications. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, PR, right? But that's not necessarily uh, uh, <laughs> strength. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Again, it's a waste of everyone's time. I don't know who is publishing some of those works. It is uh, <laughs> this kind of articles been funded by the taxpayers. Just be safe up there within some some of those. <laughs> so we are looking to highlight that uh, <laughs> the marketing campaigns and <laughs> propaganda campaigns are working very well. If anything. <laughs> Innovative SMEs collaborating with others. Okay, that, that's that's really important. Okay, let's focus on something that is actually uh, worth paying attention to. Foreign doctorate students. Okay, relative strengths. That's very that's very important. Yes, enterprise providing ICT training. Good, that's important. International scientific core 
publications. Okay, working with internationals, which is really great, working, collaborating together. That's important, right? From there, we're progressing to relative weaknesses. Design applications, okay, environmental related technologies. Okay, so yeah, so I have seen it that they're looking to address those, which is important. Medium and high tech goods exports, okay. Medium and high tech, okay. So, uh, right, right. So, they're looking to you shift, uh, but not necessarily. A lot of uh, companies already doing that, not necessarily, but everyone ha has to do it. So, it's up to you uh, with the businesses within the nation if they're interested in something that they are doing. Perhaps, if anything, not a high tech, but perhaps uh, a high end production. So, when it comes to quality, perhaps it's something that uh, some of those businesses can develop more products or services that it comes to quality, not necessarily everyone needs to work with the technology. It's important, but it's not necessarily everyone need, needs to do it. Lifelong learning, so relative weakness, it's not necessarily everyone's interested in that, as well as job to job, mobility of HRST. So some of those areas that uh, author of this article thought it's important. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, I am not necessarily agree with all of those. I have read a number of those articles. So some of those would be very political that would uh, look to address the way how some of those uh, governments have been governed, right? So the, uh, improving all the ins and outs, uh, it's not something that I'm looking to do. Uh, if anything, businesses, business activities, something that perhaps how to work together with some of those governments, something that myself I'm interested in coming from a business perspective, right? How to do business. And if anything, uh, we always need, uh, we're all not perfect, right? We all need to understand some of those areas, right? Uh, this particular uh, report uh, might be very political, but if anything, perhaps worth taking a look at. I didn't realize that uh, Belgium has exceeded the European target of 3% of GDP investment in research and development. RSD for the first time in 2019 has joined the leader European countries according to the initial data for 2020. Belgium is now the top of the European ranking on the equal foot with Sweden. So, oh, okay, so they have set target for 3%, which is kind of great. I didn't realize that's the target there. I thought if it's 2% from there, we can progress to 3%, but it's good that they have target for that. I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but uh, as everyone can understand, it's very important to have this target and to work towards to achieving those targets. To say the least, there should be a 2% since I have taken a look at uh, some of those government performance up there. We did not necessarily limit it to Europe, but, uh, but uh, worldwide. Some of those are looking uh, at uh, one point uh, uh, something, right? Or even be below 1%, which is worth or concerning factor, right? Where it should be at least two, it should be at least two percent, and uh, to three. That's very ambitious, but I understand how important that is. People that are interested in learning more, I have published a book, right? Uh, Impact. There's going to be a series of books. So within this book, I'm uh, focusing on livestock enterprise. Within this uh, book, you would find all information that you would need to know. That in particular, when it comes to starting and launching your own enterprise, progressing from zero to first 10,000 euros, dollars, pounds, and how you can achieve this milestone. This area, I personally believe, would be very important, crucially. Uh, you yourself, you would need to know so much uh, and uh, particularly make most of your money, capital, and how you optimize uh, some of those areas. Uh, I'm showing a lot of examples within the book uh, that potentially would help you to achieve this milestone and help you to succeed within venturing into uh, your first enterprise if it's something that you haven't done in the past. You can find it QR code in the corner or company's website below. For people out there interested in learning more, I'm gonna be attaching some of those reports uh, uh, below uh, to the video. If you uh, yourself are interested in learning more, I'm not entirely sure what everything what's happening, and perhaps I should pay more attention in some of those areas within uh, different governments, different uh, way how funds are being allocated and uh, how. Uh, those governments making money, right? What's the structure of some of those governments? So some of those areas might be very important, particularly 
before myself how I make decision of doing any business with some of those governments, right? Uh, the, within those uh, uh, videos, I'm going to be looking to make a case that we should be more governments looking to invest in research and development in particular as uh, that would be a key differentiation between succeeding uh, in the future. That, that's my belief. But everyone is entitled to have one, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.